Welcome back to Journey Through the Mountains with uh, Estelle and Joshua, and we're in Officer Seros. I don't know, well I didn't know it was code until you told me, so uh, take your word for it. Private Mikey. I'm guessing that's the officer? Yes. Or your worst nightmare, sir. Good work, Estelle. We do have a lot of money, so uh, don't need to necessarily do that. Yeah, let's uh, huddle by the, the campfire here. Have a nice conversation. Do you have a family, sir? Have uh, kids back home? What are they into? Like, uh, I hear shoes are very popular these days. Everybody's, it's all the rage. There's also these books called, uh, what do they call it? Carnelia? I heard somebody talk about reading that once and you know, I, I flipped through it and then couldn't figure out what's going on, and I, you know, I, I couldn't get all the copies, and it's just a nightmare. Yeah, let's take that black book that we found and burn that. Still don't know why that's in a vacuum. Still don't know why that's useful. I can sell it, so it's not well. I was gonna say it's not important to the plot, but it could be like a, a subplot thing, you know, world building. Sure. Eating with soldiers is one of my dreams. I've had the pleasure of eating in the cafeterias of a large number of government agencies and, uh, say, departments. Never in the army. Or any sort of military whatsoever. They're just so lonely. Nobody ever comes through here. Finally, we have travelers. Well, back in the Empire, every soldier is like Shara. home. We had to eat a uh, sales cooking all the time, so we're used to it. Another guest. I'm gonna guess Agate. It is. You're that jerk! Ah, oh, come on, Agate. What are you doing? We're, we're just sharing a nice romantic dinner between the two of us, and we're, you know, we're gonna... That's why you have no friends. Yeah, go sleep with the soldiers. We got plenty of bunk beds. Don't bother us.
ask you the same question. You sound as crazy as Cassius. That's why we are training Agate. That's what training means. Actually, even with her, we probably wouldn't do it. It's all uh, because of that weird musician guy. That's true. And that's true. Is he gonna be like, okay, so since that's, you know, you are, you guys are certainly not prepared for calculus, I'm gonna stick with you because I'm lonely. <laughs> Tourist training. It's actually a pretty good thing. We should probably do that. He's going to take the middle bed just to, to spite everybody. Oh, at least he has some manners. No, we want to keep talking. plan to do, Agate? Let's throw him into the TV, I mean fireplace. Yeah, he didn't really say anything that's necessarily wrong. He just said it, said it in a very jerky way. Great idea. Such a killjoy, Joshua. I thought you got better since the first, you know, the prelogue episodes. The prelogue, the prologue episodes. Words, I can't say them. Uh oh. Note number 3073 in JRPGs whenever there is a guard switching in, at night, bound to be bad news. Because otherwise, why would they show you a guard switching? It's like the most boring thing there is. Things are going downhill because you guys are on the top of a mountain. Yes, it's never the wind. Unless... Hey, Wolfies!
Let's go. No, we're gonna. We're not gonna stay here. I right, don't need to heal. Okay, let's see how this works. He just, uh, he just smacked that wolf for double to the warning track. Whirlwind! To me! No, he was gonna do whirlwind. Let's try him out. He has a lot of HP. Let's just put it that way. And he does not have a lot of EP. Which makes sense. Uh, well... Agate is gonna act, so... Oh, these wolves are just... pushovers. Wild Rage, let out the force for yell. CP plus 50, max HP minus 30%. That's actually, well, that's pretty useful. And he has an AoE craft. I've seen better. Yeah, and of course, this style doesn't have anything because she had to. Blow her S craft on a bunch of shining palms that we never had any chance to kill. Fine. Fantastic. Yeah, so I like this guy. Do we get him in our party now? He's level 22. Wow. Well, for level 22, he doesn't actually do that much more damage than Joshua. But he is level 22. You guys are not half bad, but I don't want to admit it because I'm a jerk. Hey, he did. Good for you, Agate. I changed my opinion on you. One small step at a time. That's true, we're not level 22 yet. What happened to that soldier? Thanks. Yep, that's all I'm gonna do. Sleep and fight. Ain't nothing else to worry about. But why did the wolves attack us anyway? He's actually really nice. Just has trouble expressing his emotions.
she has no idea where she is. <laughs> oh crap. He went fighting. Oh, I want to be his friend too. Okay, well, I don't know if we need to heal, but let's do it anyway. Not gonna heal any actual physical injuries, but it will heal the uncertainty on my heart. God. Thank you, sir. the soldiers. Was he the... yes, he was the injured guy. Of course, it has, it's gotta be Mikey. You are very welcome. Why did the wolves attack? Did you find that out? Yes. Very strange. A lot of strange things has happening in recent days. First it was the bandits and now the wolves. What's next? Giant robots? Maybe somebody put like a stuck a piece of paper to the you know to the back of these soldiers that's eat me. And then the wolf's like, oh well, don't mind. My precious. Uh, yes, let's do it. Which means we can't go back. Thank you, sir. We'll see you again. The store is opening for us. Blue oceans and white magnolias awaits you. And death. A lot of death. Oh, thanks. You guys are really nice. Everybody's in the army has been really nice, except for that Morgan jerk. And the Morgan jerk is kind of like Agate, I think. Are they related? Maybe it's a, it's a Cassius effect. Everybody who deals with Cassius turns into, you know, one of those types. You know what they call it. Uh, let's see, okay, Ruin. This is the other side of the Chrome Trail, and we're gonna head to Ruin in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching, see you next time.